Hello, I'm Timothy Dombeck, and welcome to Advent Episcopal Church in Sun City, West Arizona. We're delighted to have you joining us for our weekly worship service from the Book of Common Prayer. If you're new to our channel, you can watch us through our website, adventaz.org, or our Facebook page, or on our YouTube channel. We're so glad that you found us, and if you want to see previous services, you can see those through the video vault of our website. Again, that's adventaz.org. If you're looking for a church home, we're delighted to have you here. Our address is found on our website if you want to join us in person, but you're also welcome to be a member by watching online. Either way, we're glad to have you with us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the gift of your time. And now, enjoy the service. Blessed be God. It's the D team, not even the C team. So, Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who gave such grace to your apostle Andrew that he readily obeyed the call of your son Jesus Christ and brought his brother with him, give us, who are called by your holy word, grace to follow him without delay and to bring those near to us into his gracious presence, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. <clears throat> A reading from Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 11 through 14. Moses said to the people of Israel, Surely this commandment that I am commanding you today is not too hard for you, nor is it too far away. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will go up to heaven for us and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will cross to the other side of the sea for us and get it for us so that we may hear it and observe it? No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 19, verses 1 through 6, and we will say this in unison. The heavens declare, declare the, the glory, glory of God, God and, and the firmament shows his handiwork. One, one tells its tale to another, and one, one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language, and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all the lands, and their message to the ends of the world. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the outermost edges of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The law of the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. A reading from the letter to the Romans. The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim, because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and so is justified, 
and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all have obeyed the good news, for Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed there have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to, according to John. Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong one, according to Matthew. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother, John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, met mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Andrew was Simon Peter's brother. The Gospel according to John tells how Andrew was a disciple of John the Baptist. He was one of two disciples who followed Jesus once Jesus had pointed him out. John said, Behold the Lamb of God. Andrew and the other disciples went with Jesus and stayed with him. Andrew's first and probably most important act of his whole ministry uh, after following Jesus was to find his brother and bring him to Jesus. In doing so, we might recall Andrew, the first missionary in the company of all the disciples. We hear very little of Andrew as a, you know, prominent leader, as he always seems to be in the shadow of his brother, Peter. Some of you who are brothers and sisters may have that experience like Andrew. Um, the early church historian Eusebius records him going to Scythica, but there is little else known about his ministry after Jesus' resurrection. Tradition has it that he was crucified on an X-shaped cross at the hands of angry pagans. Andrew is a patron saint of Scotland. He is also the patron saint of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew, founded in November 30th, 1883 at St. James Cathedral in Chicago, Illinois. Recently, a chapter has been formed here at Advent Church. By prayer, study, and service, they reach out, as St. Andrew did, to invite men to Jesus. Over the last 139 years, the Brotherhood chapters have been involved in ministry to the homeless, veterans, people who've been affected by disasters, Boy Scouts, and prisoners. Speaking of prisoners, 
A Brotherhood chapter inside a South Texas maximum security prison has more members than any other Brotherhood chapter in or outside prison. So we have uh, the head of the Brotherhood here, and so I'd asked him if he would say a few words about the Brotherhood. Thank you, Father Brian. We have been called to start a chapter of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew here. We started last April, had our first meeting with about three of us. Now in, at our October meeting, there were nine of us, so we're growing. We meet every third Tuesday of the month, every second Tuesday of the month at 8.30. Right now we're meeting in the church conference room. This is 8.30 a.m. We have about an hour, half, an hour and a half meeting. We have a short worship service. We are still talking about service opportunities because each chapter has a service that they provide outside of the church. And then we discuss some topic of interest. It's not a Bible study class, but we pick a topic like once one Tuesday we discussed the Trinity, what it meant to us. Right after uh, All Saints Day, we discussed what saints had been important into our lives, and we discussed things like that. So I certainly invite the two men here and any others who are listening in to join us on December 13th at 8.30 in the conference room over here in the office building and at least see what we're about. I think you'll find it an interesting group of gentlemen and an interesting discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're up. I'm up. Just an anecdote while he's preparing himself. Uh, the Brotherhood was founded in 1883, and the Daughters of the King were formed in 1885. And what I found out, you go to the Daughters of the King website, and there's a line that says the Brotherhood of St. Andrew. And a lot of what the beginning of the Daughters, there were some parallels between prior, prior uh, prayer uh, service and study that, that relate also to the Daughters of the King. I didn't know that. I just found that out as I was looking around at things um, today. So please stand if you're able for the litany of healing. Let us name before God those, whom for, those for whom we desire to pray. Let us offer our prayer for God's healing, saying, hear and have mercy. Holy God, source of health and salvation, Hear holy and mighty, wellspring of abundant life, hear and have mercy. Holy immortal one, protector of the faithful, hear holy trinity, the source of all wholeness, hear and have mercy. Blessed Jesus, your holy name is medicine for healing and promise of eternal life. Jesus, descendant of David, you healed all who came to you in faith. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, child of Mary, you embraced the world with your love. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, divine physician, you sent your disciples to preach the gospel and heal in your name. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, our true mother, you fed us the milk of your compassion. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, Son of God, you take away our sin and make us whole. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, eternal Christ, you promised spirit, your promised spirit renews our hearts and minds. Hear and have mercy. Grant your grace to heal those who are sick. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give courage and faith to all who are disabled through injury and illness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Comfort, relieve, and heal all sick children. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give, all, give courage to all who await surgery. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Support and encourage those who live with chronic illness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Strengthen those who endure continual pain and give them hope. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Grant the refreshment of peaceful sleep to all who suffer. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Befriend all who are anxious, lowly, 
despondent, or afraid, we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Restore those with mental illness to clarity of mind and hopefulness of heart, we pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Give your wisdom and compassion to health care workers that they may minister to the sick and dying with knowledge, skill, and kindness. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Uphold those who keep watch with the sick. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Guide those who search for the causes and cures of sickness and disease. We pray to you, O God. Hear and have mercy. Jesus, Lamb of God, hear and have mercy. Jesus, bearer of our sins, hear and have mercy. Jesus, redeemer of the world, The Almighty God, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven or on earth and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Savior of the world, by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the oath bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Those who would like anointing can please come forward at this time. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. I anoint you with this holy oil in the name of our Father. And Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most gracious and holy Father, as your child is anointed with this holy oil, grant her the inner anointing of the Holy Spirit. May he wrap his arms of mercy and love around her. Oh. O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning in rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your spirit lift us, we pray to your presence, where we may we be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We're truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, also with you.
God's peace, dear. Bruce, God's peace. 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 We invite you to please stand if you're able. Let us say together the offertory sentence. All that we are and all that we have comes from God. Let us offer our best in God in thanksgiving, remembering that God loves a cheerful giver. Eucharistic prayer be found in your bulletin. The Lord be with you, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through the great shepherd of your flock, Jesus Christ our Lord, who after his resurrection sent forth his apostles to preach the gospel and to teach all nations and promised to be with them always, even to the end of the ages. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with the angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth is full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Thank you in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into light. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. We offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. 
Unite us to your Son in this sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to the heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the author of our salvation, by him and with him and in him and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrifice for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven, the blood of Christ. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Please stand if you're able and join me in the post-communion prayer. Gracious Father, we give you praise and thanks for this holy communion of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption. And we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strengthen our weakness, and everlasting salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May God the merciful pour love into your heart and make it one with the heart of Christ. May Christ's compassion find a home in you, and though you bring hope, through you bring hope and healing to others. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and remain with you always. Amen. And let us go in the name of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.